small fracture, but they put a cast on from my fingers to my elbow. And uh, I remember when they took that damn thing off, it smelled like death. <laughs> my arm, like the hospital right home, you know, from the hospital home was just like, ugh, I had to keep the bitch out the window. I was like, this, <laughs> this fuck stinks, man. I'm thinking that like, if you run around for two days straight without taking a shower, that's probably what your balls smell like. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> My wife was complaining about some ladies that, uh, that took time off work to go get work done. You guys know what that means, right? Get work done? That means they got uh, butt and boobs implants. They got their their, their stuff all taken care of. And I was like, man, that's crazy. She was like, I know. And then out of the blue, a lady I used to date called me up and she says, hey, I know I haven't seen you in a while, but I'm coming to town and I want to show you something. I had some work done. I was like, oh. <laughs> she's going to show me some butts and boobs, right? So when I get, I get to where she's at, she looks exactly the same. I'm like, well, what did you have done. She was like, well, I got, you got to go upstairs to the hotel room so I can show you. I was like intrigued. I was like, what is she going to show me? So then I went up and she had her vagina rejuvenated. That's what she thought. I was like, oh my God, the meat curtains are gone. <laughs> they just cut the meat curtains right off. Your vagina looks beautiful now. You have an Emmy instead of an Audi now. Oh, you guys, because yeah, some of you guys got both, right? No, one or the other. I was like, wow, it looks fabulous. She says, yeah. They told me it should be tighter. I said, really? <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> right? And that's to sink into it yourself. So I did. And believe it or not, it was exactly the same. She said, I think you need to go get your penis rejuvenated. Because it's not the same. I'm like, you fucking bitch. I know it's not the same. But look at the size of these balls. She says, exactly. And then I got to thinking, I said, man, I would love to get my penis and balls rejuvenated. They could shorten up the sack. That would be nice. Get a little closer, you know. You love guys know what I'm talking about. Not them guys over there at that table. You guys don't know shit about what the fuck I'm talking about. But this guy over here and this one over here, they know. They know what I'm talking about. Scott, uh, maybe Scott knows too. But that damn boss sack gets long, man. I was looking at Darius up here walking with those tight ass jeans on. I was like, I wish I could wear those jeans right there, but I didn't want to come up here and you guys see one ball on the left and another ball on the right. So I cannot wear them jeans. I would love to. Those suckers were high too. They were was up almost to his navel. Like my pants. I can't get them up that high on my body. Shaping happening once that happens, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and I'm not dogging this jeans shit. I wish I could wear them, but just the jewelry just ain't as nice anymore, you know? Because that's all men got. You know, if I was going to get something fixed, it wouldn't be my stomach. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Fix this dick, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Can you make it bigger, longer, stronger? You know what I'm saying? A hard erection, not the wobbly shit we got going on, right? <laughs> what you know what I'm about? The one you need two blue pills for, you know? One for now and one for the morning. Right? I remember when I was young, I used to get it three, four, three, four rounds in the night, you know? Now it's one night and boom. <laughs> We better get yours before I get mine, because <laughs> I got some sleep in it, you know what I'm saying? I hate getting old, man. It's the worst, man, you know? I remember when I was young, I gave 10, 15 pounds over the, over the winter, and in the summertime, it would just melt right off me. I, I wouldn't even have it anymore. Now, it just keeps rolling. Look at this damn 
chain for me. I'm trying to suck it in. I want to buy one of those shirts. And well, I, I did. You know, it was like it was like tight around here, but then it just pushed all my fat out the top of the fucking like this. Thing. I was like, this shit looks like I got two sets of titties now. I can't be wearing this shit. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. Women are women, you guys are oppressed. You know, you guys learn to dress appropriately. You know, as you get over me, I just still wear tight shirts. Fuck it. <laughs> My nipples just point to the same the different directions now. One is down and the other one, I don't know what the fuck it's doing. <laughs> it used to be over here, now it's way over here in the corner. <laughs> you see that shit? They're like hammerhead shirts right now. <laughs> Like, I can't operate my fucking phone. I was trying to record this shit. And I know it's not on here. It's too, 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 I am, I'm just, you know, I hate getting old, man. And it's just, it just creeps up on you. All of a sudden, you're just this old creepy dude at the bar. You can't look at butts anymore, because now you're a pervert and shit. When you're young, you look at her, ooh, she's hot. Now I go, ooh, she's hot. She's 20. <laughs> I used to be 20. Long time ago. <laughs> Ken should be here. Where is he? I know where he's at. He's taking his shit. <laughs> because now, you know, he probably had his golf ladder removed. He had a couple of drinks, maybe a piece of meat. Yeah. Bam. They pull that fucking gallbladder out, boy, you shit immediately, fellas. Let me tell you something. When the doctor says, you don't need it, tell them to fuck off. <laughs> Fix my switch. <laughs> Fix it. I'm serious, man. The other day, I shit my pants at a restaurant. Like, I just ate. <laughs> All because my sister wouldn't get out of her seat fast enough. I'm like, move. I'm like, move. I got to go right now. She's like, just a minute. Fix your lipstick. Fuck your lipstick. I slapped her face with the damn lipstick. <laughs> Hey, she gets out, she says, God, you don't have to do that. She had a red line all across the face like that. She said, you didn't just slap the butt. Yeah, move, bitch. Hey, that's how violent it was. I, had to, I ran to the bathroom, man. As soon as I got to the, to the touch the door, my butt clenched and just, just, <laughs> just clenched up in a slow walk to the stall. It was just horrible. I was like, Jesus Christ. I swear I'm not going to make it to this motherfucker. And, and I did it, man. As soon as I opened up that door and looked at that toilet, I'm like, I can't sit on that! So I got some toilet paper out of there and I started trying to, and then it just ran and I farted. <laughs> I farted. And I left Applebee's a present. That's what's it I did. I wiped my ass with that same pair of underwear. And I moved all the trash out of the side of the thing and dropped it at the bottom. Plug the trash back up so nobody can see it, but boy, you can smell it. It was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. I come running out to, the, to my family at the table. I'm like, let's go. They're like, yeah, I'm paying the check. I'm like, let's hurry up and pay because we got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm like, why? I'm like, my shit, my pants. <laughs> my brother says, stop fucking lying. I go like this. <laughs> I got no drawers on look. He's like, oh my God, what you do with your drawers? They're in the bathroom, bitch, let's go. <laughs> let's fucking go. <laughs> I got a spare pair in my underwear, my cup of that same package. And, you know, missing one pair of underwear, I had to go across the street to, to Myers to give me another pair of shit. So when they say you don't need that gallbladder, fuck down, bro. <laughs> Don't believe it. <laughs> Just like when they said, oh yeah, you get this by sick and he's not nothing. You still ejaculate and everything. But you don't get the distance that you used to get. Like before I had that by sick I could get it, I could shoot it all the way up to the neck, you know? Maybe not out of the face, but down here, like get it in. <laughs> The effect, you know? 
It's because I don't want to tell women that, I'm, that I have a bisectomy. Because if they end up pregnant, I know it's not mine. You know what I'm saying? I'm lying. I, I can't pull my dick out and come nowhere. Like Carl said, get a pull-out game. I don't have one. Terrible at it, man. Mine is more like a leave-in game. Because I always think I can get that one more stroke in. You know what I'm talking about, right? Because like it starts to get really good. You're like, ooh. Ooh, one more. Let me take that deep breath. Ooh. Wow! <laughs> That's what happens every time. Like, I just got to get them. One more and it bug it. He ain't gonna get pregnant, though. Bug it. Do my baby, though. Do that. That's what I'm saying. I used to have a comedian friend who used to say that he feels like he has a personal relationship with my penis because that's all I talk about. <laughs> well, that's all I got, my lord. <laughs> I got a penis and I got a dog. I got a dog, I got a dog. I love, her. I love that bitch to death, man. But she's female, just so you guys know that's a correct term for a female dog. I don't want nobody getting all politically correct on uh, this shit. Yes, I did her. She loves me. She loves me infinity. She does. She does. She loves me. Now, I tell you what. I tell you what. Though, if I would have known that I could get a, a English bulldog to love me that much, I would never got married so many times. <laughs> I only got married once. If I, I would have known that for three thousand dollars, I could get a bitch to really love me. <laughs> I only got married one time and she took a dog. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Now nobody dudes are quiet as sheep. They're not that bad. That. That's right. <laughs> there will be no pussy tonight for you. Let me not say pussy because that's not politically correct. There will be no vagina for you. Uh, <laughs> I like to uh, go out and drink. I still like to drink and smoke weed every once in a while. It's just what I like to do, because that's what I like doing. And, and when I come home, my wife is a shitty, you know? Like, I know some guys get drunk and go home, and they're not getting no funds at all. <laughs> they can't even try to get some. You know, try to put your hand on your leg, try to wake her up. Mine ain't like that. She, I swear, she lies in wait for me. <laughs> Like, I think she likes having me drunk sex with her because I do freakier shit, you know? <laughs> like, eat pussy, because I mean, I've never eaten pussy sober. Oh, I'm the only one? So you guys eat pussy sober? <laughs> the fuck out of here, really? That's conservative pussy eating right there, at its best. Because, when you're drunk, you do shit you don't normally do. Like lift their legs way up like this as far as they go. Stick your tongue in the hole. You're not even supposed to do that. Girls don't like that. But you do. Lick that little strip right before the part you're not supposed to lick. You know what I'm talking about, right? Some of this big. Just a little touch on it. You got a hey, fellas, don't go up and down on that, you can go sideways. <laughs> <laughs> and then I might get the booty hole. I just might. I just might because I'm drunk. I'm drunk. I'm not sober. I'm not sober. I'm not gonna do shit like that. That's why she likes me drunk like that. Sometimes I fall asleep right, right there while I'm eating it. <laughs> I was like, how do you do that? Your tongue is still in there. I'm like, I don't know, it's a snore effect on me. She likes the feel of the snoring vibration on her clitoris, so maybe. I don't know why she even likes it like that. I might as well be a lesbian. I'm so drunk, my dick don't want to work. She's got to really work out on it. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> then it doesn't get all the way hard. 
Right, because you know, whiskey dick, right? <laughs> Fellas, you know, at old ladies, you guys know too. You guys had that Whitney squirming one. Uh. So I had to wear grown man glasses on a little kid face. 
They look like safety glasses. And then my mother, she dressed me like the type of man she dated. So it always looked like I had some kind of income. Yeah, it didn't matter like professional to street. Like I look like I could be anything from an engineer to a number man. And everything my mama bought me had leather patches on the elbows. I had I had sports coats, leather patches on the elbows. I had a turtleneck, leather patches on the elbows. I had a vest with leather patches on the elbows, and it didn't even have sleeves. I don't know how my mama did it, but she did it. And it was hard. Like I didn't, my mama didn't sing nursery rhymes to me and lullabies. She sung old Negro spirituals to get me to go to sleep. Uh, man, I, it was like I was destined to be an old soul. Because I was the only kid in kindergarten with a briefcase. <laughs> yeah, the first day of kindergarten, the teachers thought I was a sub. <laughs> I was the only five year old with a key to the teacher's lounge. <laughs> And what I hated most about going to school was lunch. Like any of y'all ever brought y'all y'all almost lunch to school? What you have, a brown bag or a lunch box? I had a crock pot. <laughs> a crock pot with oxtail soup. Do you know how hard it is? try to trade a honey bun for some cream corn? <laughs> that's damn near impossible. And lunch, lunch, that's why I hate mean, lunch. The kids always want to trade. That's what they always want to do. They be like, Jack, I got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. What you got you want to trade? I got some beets. <laughs> you want to trade? Other friend, he like, Jay, I got some Sunday light. What you got? You want to trade? I got some decaf. <laughs> he ain't want to trade. Then this one kid, he has some fruit snacks. And fruit snacks is my absolute favorite snack of all time. He was like, Jay, I got some fruit snacks. What you got? You want to trade? I open my briefcase. I go in there. I got this blood pressure pill. <laughs> He didn't want to trade. That's why I hated school. I hated growing up as a dog. So. And what made it worse is I'm the only boy in my family. I got eight older sisters. Yeah.
or just trying to do something nice. Because he's handicapped, either mentally or physically, I couldn't tell. But he had, he had a lump. I wasn't sure what it was. But anyway, so the team, they put him into the football game, they give him the football, and he runs like a long way. And he scores a touchdown. And the other team kind of like fakes, like they're trying to get him. And at the time, I watched this, I'm like, this is beautiful, this is great. I, I love what they're doing for people like this. This is really nice. But then I started to think about it, I was like, What's, what's going to happen the next game? Like, that kid's going to be on the sideline. His team's going to be down by 14. And he's going to be like, Hey, coach, I'm averaging 67 yards a carry. Give me a shot. Just give me a shot. It's not going to end well. I just imagine there's be like an overly ambitious assistant coach who's like, hey, not for nothing, but I don't think anybody's gonna hit the handicap kid. <laughs> Let's just keep running that play. Let's just keep it going all the way to the state championship. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. And then during the state championship, just just dominating. And then the opposing team's like, hey, we got one too. He's already got a helmet. Just get him on in there. And that's how the Special Olympics were started. It's a factual account of history right there. I've got, a, I've got a sister. Who else? Don't answer. <laughs> I've got a sister, and uh, she's she's had a lot of exes, but one of her ex boyfriends Facebook messaged my entire family, and, and I read it, and here's what it said Just to let you know, your sister is a whore, and she knowingly gave me an STD. I said, like, Jesus Christ. So I replied, that's why I stopped fucking her. <laughs> Anybody got a DUI here? Do you want to answer that? Um, I don't know, I think the DUI laws are unfair. I think, I think the, if there's like multiple people in the car, and you get pulled over, I think the least drunk person who's not driving should be arrested. Because fuck them. Because you know what happened. They were all like, oh, I'm too drunk to drive, I'm too drunk to drive. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm least drunk. And then he went and drove, they got pulled over, and the asshole in the back, who's basically sober, he's like, oh, I didn't get it. <laughs> Arrest him. He's the asshole, he lied to everybody. Not the drunk guy who's so brave. We want to reward bravery in this country. That's what I think.